If you guys have ever wasted precious time and money on a project in the shop because you're too hard headed to change course, then hit that like button and stay tuned. We're gonna finish out and create this hex pattern out of those little bars. It's looking nice. It's gonna go on the swing out stool on my welding table and we are going to weld up some of the main members for that where it swings around. In the process, I'm gonna show you how I took this very arduous task of making these little pieces to fit perfectly for that honeycomb pattern and made that process more efficient. So in the last video, I showed you guys how I was prepping up these little bars to make the hex patterns with this form here. And I was exclusively using this magnet and putting it on my belt sander here and getting the 30 degree angle by moving the piece with the magnet back and forth along that belt sander. Now that process was extremely slow. So what I did was with the new vise. Go to my channel and see this vise build. I took each individual piece of bar. I quickly mounted it on my vise. And then I took my angle grinder with a flap disc and quickly put a rough angle to two sides. And then I went to the other side, ground it flat, put it in the same spot, used the flap disc to grind to the overall dimension of 1.89. And then I did the final touch up with my magnet on my bench top sander. I produced 16 of those little bars in 30 minutes. Whereas before it would take me probably two hours to do 16 of those little bars. Another way that I figured out how to increase my efficiency on this project. So here's my honeycomb pattern. What I figured out was instead of using this form and completely creating a perimeter, I could use this magnet and quickly find that 60 degrees. That's 60 degrees at each of the faces. I can set my square magnet up, get everything lined up on the table so everything is flat and make sure my two faces are flush to the two flat bars. And that is quickly set up. I can tack this side, take that magnet off and tack the other side. And this is a lot quicker than how I was doing it before with this and using three different sizes of clamps so they would fit over each other. This just, it worked, but it wasn't fast. It's pretty clunky. Moving to the magnet made a world of difference.
Thanks for watching and happy fabricating.